allow me to make a chess analogy. And I'll explain it. It's nothing to be um, afraid of. e4, e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, bishop d5. Now, that starts the Ruy Lopez. That's an opening. Now, in the Ruy Lopez, the, the point of putting the knight out in order to attack the bishop is not necessarily to take the knight. Sometimes you take the knight, but oftentimes you want to keep the bishop, which means you're just putting it out there to harass the knight. No other reason. Well, there's another reason. That harassment sometimes can provoke a pawn push in order to shoo the bishop away. Now, in doing that, it weakens the position to some degree. Same thing applies with the bishop g5 when it's attacking the knight on the king's side in order to weaken the king's position. Um, this is just chess strategy. Now, I make this point to say that the same strategy applies to politics. That sometimes people do things for political expedience. Not because there's any plan on taking down what they're going after, but more so that they weaken the position a little bit so you can come at later and attack the thing that you just weakened. In politics, this looks a little different. It's not a bishop per se. You're, this is a fully fledged out um, three-dimensional or four -dimen uh, three-dimensional environment, fourth, including time. Um, so it's a living system. Jane Sanders was subject of an attack like this. Now, VT Digger um, is a news organization that ran a story saying that she inflated the donations amounts while she was working at Burlington College. Now, this is just a, a, an attack on Sanders at this point, with the reason that later on you can go back and say his wife was corrupt and they were and something that falls on her also to some degree tar Sanders, especially with this notion that Sanders may run coming up in the next presidential race. It's good to know, however, that she's been cleared of charges. And it's not even gotten to the point of charges. She was cleared where they would not file charges because there was nothing to see here. This was nonsense. A Trump supporter file a complaint. Trump supporter can file the complaint. The investigation has shown bupkis. Nothing. Nothing to see here, folks. That said, that's not going to stop them from bringing this up later on. I almost guarantee it. If Sanders runs, this will come up later on. Because the original point of this was to soften him up in this particular thing to show they're somehow corrupt. Failure. Utter failure. Let's take a look at the story real quick. Look at this picture. Sanders looking blurry eyed like, <gasps> and Jane Sanders making her look guilty. Photographers, man, they're funny sometimes in the way they get these pictures. Um, Let's see, that was, I gave my summary. An advisor to Senator Bernie Sanders on Tuesday said that Bernie Sanders' wife has been cleared in the federal investigation into a land deal involving her tenure at Burlington College. You don't say. Jeff Weaver, Sanders' former presidential campaign manager, told CNN that the charges will not be filed against Jane Sanders because there was nothing to see here in the first place. Jane is grateful that the investigation has come to an end. She said that from the beginning there was nothing, she's done nothing wrong and is pleased for the matter to come to a conclusion. The FBI has reportedly been investigating whether Sanders falsified documents regarding loan donations Burlington College received in 2010 when she was college president. The investigation was started, was open after VT Digger, a news organization in quotes in Vermont, reported in 2016 that she inflated the amounts of the donations the college received. Brad, Brady Tone. Toninzing, tone, ah, this name, Toninzing, Toninzing, a Vermont lawyer who served as chairman for President Trump campaign in Washington, filed a complaint against Bernie Sanders following the publication of the report. Nuisance, just a nuisance filing. Bernie Sanders told CNN Jake Tapper last year that politics were to blame 
for the investigation being open, and Bernie Sanders will be right. Right in the middle of my president campaign, I know this will shock the viewers, the vice chairman of the Vermont Republican Party, who happened to be Donald Trump's campaign manager, raised the issue and initiated the investigation. Attack the night, bring out the pawn to weaken the position. So he can attack that position later. This is nonsense. And one Jane Sanders, despite how this picture looks, has been cleared. I'll end this here. Keep it short. If you enjoy the content, please feel free to share and like the video. You can always support the content through Patreon. And as my wife likes to say, even a dollar helps. And by the way, you even get additional content. So, thanks all. I'll see you shortly.